Okay, this is 8-120. So um, we have a mid-segment. So I think that means we're going to have similar triangles. Um, a, C, D. A, C, D is the bigger outside triangle. What's the perimeter of A, C, D? So Pythagorean theorem is a good idea, except for that we don't know for sure that that's the right angle. So if it was a right angle, yeah, you could totally do that. But since we don't really know, we can't use the Pythagorean. So we have this um, little triangle and this bigger triangle. Like, see what I'm saying? We have this littler triangle that's 7 and 6 and 11. And then we have to um, use similar triangles. So I can prove to you that this outside triangle, the big triangle, is twice as big as the little triangle because I've got side angle side. We learned side angle side in here yet, I hope? Yeah. So um, because, see, this, the whole side of AB, that's, you can see that it's twice. The whole side of, here, let me, because it's a mid segment, because it's in the middle. Yeah, so if this is the big triangle down here, the one that that one's inside of, then this corner is called C and this corner is called D. And then this will be actually 14 along here. And then what this one will be, because they're equal, so if that's 6, that's got to be 6, so the whole thing's got to be 12. And then, yeah, well, they want the perimeter of the big one. Um, oh, yeah, and then the 11 is going to be 22, isn't it? Yeah, so then we just add them up. Cool. So that would be 14 plus 12 plus 22. So what does that come out to be? A 48? Okay. And those are what kind of... We're just going to have to say units. 48 units. So that's 8-129. I'll check if I got the answer key right here. Yep. Beautiful. Do you have one, Shelby?